Good morning and uh, welcome to uh, the Kimo Bay Church Daily Vlog. Uh, we're going to be continuing our series um, on uh, the uh, names or faces of Jesus. And um, I'll be looking at um, um, two, two things today um, from uh, Revelation um, chapter 1 and verse 8 and from Revelation 22 and verse 13. Both kind of say the same thing. I'm going to be dealing with the fact that uh, Jesus is um, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, um, and the first and the last. Um, in the in um, in Revelation one and and verse eight, um, it says that um, Jesus said, I, "I am the Alpha and the Omega, I'm the beginning and the end, um, the one who was." who is and who will forever be and um, in in uh, Revelation 22 and verse 13 um, it's Jesus says that he's the Alpha and the Omega he's the beginning and the end and he's the first and he's the last now if you've been following our series you'll know that um, I've dealt with Jesus being the root of David and I've dealt with Jesus being the root of David's line and in those two um, in those two vlogs, I've kind of dealt with Jesus being the beginning, but I'm just going to do a quick recap on that about Jesus being the beginning that he's always he was there. Um, according to John chapter one, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. So Jesus was there when everything was created. I've also mentioned the fact that, uh, as it says in John chapter one, and I think is in verse three, without him was nothing made that was made so G through Jesus everything was made because Jesus was there in the beginning as the alpha he was there as the first uh, but I just want to really expand a little bit on on the fact that Jesus is the beginning I remember someone asking a question uh, of uh, um, one of my one of my leaders uh, when I was uh, very early on in my Christian walk and they asked uh, our overseer they asked him and said well, how come Jesus is the beginning? When was the beginning? And I really like the answer uh, my overseer back then gave. And he said, you think as far back as you can think. So in our case, think back a billion years, think back a trillion years as the beginning. God was always there. Jesus was always there. So you think as far back as you want to think God was there. He's always been there. And that's what he tells us in the book of Revelation and chapter 1 verse 8 that I quoted. He was there, the one who, who was, the one who is and will forever be. This tells us about God's um, uh, uh, infinite, God's, the, inf the uh, uh, God, the infinite, the, the <laughs> trying to get my words together, that how infinite God is. He's eternal. He's outside time. Um, we're confined to time. So this is very, very difficult for us to grasp. But God is outside time. He was, he is, and he will forever be. So he, because God is outside time, you can, you can fit the beginning and the end in there and God is there. He was always there at the start of things and he will be there right at the consummation of things. And that's what I really want to focus on today about Jesus being the end, about Jesus being the omega, about Jesus being the last. I really want to focus on that this morning. Jesus is the end because when when this whole whole thing comes to to a close, when the whole when the when the age uh the the age and time is wrapped up jesus will be the center of everything that consummates the end and what do i mean by that in the book of revelation chapter 19 if you've got time i would really encourage you to read that story to read um the account in revelation chapter 19 it tells us that one day jesus is going to come back um, as the King of Kings and as the Lord of Lords is going to come back riding on a white horse with armies from heaven and he's going to deal with the nations. Jesus is going to come as the King of Kings, he's going to come as the Lord of Lords, he's going to take the Antichrist 
and the false prophet is going to take them and it's going to he's going to cast them into the lake of fire alive he's going to deal with the nations that are seeking to destroy at the nation of Israel and also the nations that are rebelling against him he's going to judge them and he's going to wrap everything up as it were the devil in revelation chapter 20 uh, through an angel at the command of Jesus will be uh, will be locked up uh, in the bottomless pit for a thousand years and then Jesus uh, in Revelation chapter uh, 21 um, and, uh, well, we see a new heaven and a new earth will come to be and Jesus will be the center of judging the nations right at the end and of uh, introducing as it were a new age a new heaven and a new earth and that's why Jesus is the end because Jesus is going to execute judgment on the nations and Jesus is going to establish a new heaven a new earth and a new reign of God's kingdom and we who know Jesus we're going to be with him forever and ever now how does that what does that um kind of how does that apply to us you know Jesus being the beginning yes he was the beginning he created the world we were created if you like through him because without him was nothing made that was made so that makes him the beginning what about the end the bible tells us in the book of Matthew 24 and verse 13 it says anyone who endures to the end shall be saved so we shall be eternally saved when Jesus establishes God's kingdom, the new heaven and the new earth, if you know Jesus and you've invited him into your life, you'd, ex you'd escape the judgment that's going to come on the nations and you will be in heaven with Jesus forever and ever. And you'll be here when he establishes the new heaven and the new earth and you will reign with him as a king. You will reign with him as someone who will come down in you know as power of his army will he's, he's coming down with his saints and we're going to be in that army and we'll also be part of the bride of christ and we'll also be part of his children when he establishes his kingdom forever and ever in eternity and so that's why the end applies to us because if we endure to the end if we keep trusting him we keep believing in him we will be there right at the very end with the Lord Jesus Christ in his kingdom. So if you don't know Jesus, um, I would like to encourage you. You want to escape the judgment. You don't want to go to hell. You want to be in heaven so you can be uh, in eternity with Jesus and you, you can experience peace and joy uh, that will last forever in God's eternal kingdom. And so that's why Jesus being the end um, is, 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 is a very serious matter. It's one that we should take seriously, but it's also one that we should be prepared for and it's one that we should look forward to as Christians. Let us pray. Dear Lord, uh, we just thank you for uh, who you are. We thank you that you are the Alpha, you are the Omega, you're the beginning, you're the end, you are the first and you're the last. Lord, we want to be there right at the very end with you. So, Lord, we pray that uh, you'll help us to endure to the end so that we'll be saved and we can reign with you in your eternal kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay, God bless you, everyone. Uh, we'll see you soon by God's grace. Stay safe.